Hi there. So I want to demonstrate in this video how the John Conway's The Game of Life relates to the reading. I'm starting here on this Wikipedia page, which I cite in my journal entry, which goes over some of the basic rules of John Conway's mathematic mathematical proposition of the game of life and how those rules could be applied or modeled to the idea of cellular autonomy. And as it mentions in the reading and as it is demonstrated in this game example, it's a modeling or an abstraction of that particular concept onto a scenario. Now, not only do I have the Wikipedia page here, but I also have this uh, uh, website version of the game. But I'm also going to show my version of the game that I wrote in Java that models it slightly after the website there. It was an earlier version of the website. And I'm going to run that first to show you kind of some of the features I built in to my version of the game of life. So here it is, you can see there's a grid. And one thing I can do is I can adjust the size of the grid, which is essentially zooming in or zooming out. So if I make the grid um, cell size quite large, it's a much smaller grid, and I can click on it to activate or bring to life organisms in the grid. Or I can zoom out by making the grid size smaller, and I can do the same thing. I can create life by activating those organisms, bringing them to life, and then I can advance it one generation by clicking advance. This follows the rules of life so that it has those rules, those cellular autonomy mimicking rules there. But I can also, I'm going to zoom way out in my game. Okay, this will take a second for to render this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot in an organism by using a preset. I programmed in some presets that will automatically bring to life certain rows and columns to bring to life those cellular autonomy or those uh, players in the game. And here we go, I'm gonna uh, open. I've named them simple glider gun. I'm gonna open the exploder, which will appear in the corner here, up here in this corner. So the black represents cells that are alive and the white represents cells that are dead. And rather than advance it one generation at a time, I'm gonna click start stop, which essentially starts it on a cycle of moving on its own. I also added the feature that I could adjust the speed at which those generations occur. In milliseconds, so as I go down in speed, it's going to make the generations go much faster and apply it that way, okay, or slower. And I'm going to open another one while this is going on, the glider gun, to apply to it as well. Or I can open the simple one. They're all there. And I can still click on the grid to affect the rules of the game of life and how that renders it. Now that you've seen my version, I'm going to jump over to the web-based version of the Game of Life. You can see it's essentially the same thing. I can hit Start and it also applies the Game of Life. I can also click on the cells to affect the rules. I can make the grid smaller or bigger, essentially zooming in or zooming out. And I can also affect the speed. It also has presets that I can pull in. They call it lexicons on this site. So I can pull in the lexicons and load them in. So say, for example, I pulled this one and it's a weird name. I pull that in there and I start it. I can still zoom in, I can still increase or decrease the speed, and I can click on it to affect the way the rules are affected within the cellular autonomy. And this demonstrates to me a connection to the reading that I hope you can see and the hope that I've well documented in my journal.